Nobody knows what. These companies really think they know what a hit is before it happens. And sometimes they can puff something up that sounds in that vein, you know, but they already have a preconceived notion of what a hit is. That ain't how you make a hit. You're supposed you know to come saying? with a new flavor. Totally. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. It ain't no other way. The other way is you're constructing a hit, but it's just like this. It's like technology hits. You know what I'm saying? Like they, it's a man-made synthetic hit versus just the real raw yeah. Homegrown hit, you right. know, so you listen to all this music out here, they're trying to make that, you know, like, oh, we got to have a girl in the chorus, mm -hmm. or we got to do this, got to have a Hype Williams video or something, yeah. you know what I'm saying, so I think that's lessening the quality of the music, because it's making artists who I love have to make eight, even if you got to make one song like that, that's a fact, I don't want to fast forward through nobody, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> like, like Domino, you know what I'm saying, you want to throw a tape in, and be able to ride, especially we on tour, we driving we for hours. We want to put something in. We'll be listening to some shit all the way through. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And that shit, when you have these labels pushing people to make that BS, that's what that, you know, you get that a lot of times on these records that, in other words, would be underground. Or a lot of artists who you hear them before they come out, you see them at a show like, damn, they just got signed to da da da. I can't wait to hear the album and mm -hmm. hear the album. And it's like the Puffy mix, not to this Puffy, but he yeah, makes yeah. some pop music. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But just like, I don't like that. I don't like that that sort of pressure in the mainstream because you know they mess up the artist's longevity and they and they lessen the state of hip hop. When people say there's a lot of whack shit out there, I, it makes me mad because there's a lot of dope MCs out there, mm -hmm. signed and unsigned, and a lot of dope music out there. But then there is you listen to the singles or the radio mm -hmm. or stuff that's free that you you know the shit that you can't. Not everybody can afford to get an album. Not everybody can afford to go to the show. Not everybody has cable. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you listen to the radio and the free stuff, and it really is like, hey, shit, ain't no hip hop. Mm -hmm. But then you go see OC, Organize is out, Common is out, Lil ID is out. You know what I'm saying? Busta Rhymes is out. Yeah. That's 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 all out there, but you don't ever get to see that because that's not the mainstream. And that's not what's pumped all the time. Can we throw? Can we throw the example? No disrespect to my man's. But can we throw the example of maybe Nas and Biggie's first album compared to their second albums? Yeah, I mean, it's a lot with a lot of second albums. You look at a lot of, I mean, they see the tip of the iceberg, but they want the whole, the whole yeah, pie cool. thing, you know, whatever. And the label's pushing them, like, you can get that. Mm -hmm. Just, why don't you work with, you know what I'm saying, yeah, little fingers yeah. or something. If we go make us <laughs> some not, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and then, and then. You know, I mean, some you lose a lot of your original fans, and you kind of be losing your self-respect. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, damn, I made that. Sometimes you listen to some shit like, man, I made that. I was tripping. And you don't never want to have no regrets in life, but let alone with music, that's something you make. You got in that realm. You got to live with that. There's different kind of entertainers too. There's people who strictly trying to make some money, and there's people who just love doing the shit. So I mean, that that's gonna reflect in the state of hip hop, of course. You know, you can't argue with a man who's doing.